in human being or is now the first one or um, when we have too many resources. When we have so much in life, I don't need God. Why do I have to give it to Him? You know, I don't need His blessing. In your mind now, uh, okay, I don't need to give. I have, I got everything I want. I got everything in life and over. So niya una. Yung pangalawa is um, when we don't have enough. Yung naisip natin na ang dami bills babayarin, maraming po um, any due date, maraming gastusin, um, you know, think na we have more expenses. It is so tempted not to give, di ba? I've been there po. I've been there na. Kaya po, I hope I can encourage this afternoon na kahit anong meron tayo, una natin si Lord. Na, na-prove ni Lord po. We all, you all know my testimony. Na-prove ni Lord na He, he provides, He supply all my needs. All lahat po. Kaya, kaya gusto-gusto ko po na kahit marami tayong pera or we don't have enough, i-offer natin kay Lord. First, bago sa iba. Amen po. And do not let our circumstances make us lose sight of the promise of God. We don't want to miss what God can do. Amen. Amen. He, says, he is all-knowing, all-powerful, and omnipresent. He be everywhere. And one thing po, that fight, that can fight for our the circumstances po, is for us to have a mindset in Christ. No? Then when we, we have when we, our mind set with Christ, with His word, with His promise, meron pong tayong joy in giving. Either giving out of abundance or giving out of needs. And acknowledge His word and give glory to Him in our giving. Amen po? Hindi lang dahil ka ng maraming pera, that's my time, that's all. No, it's parang, you know, you give out, you, marami ka nang, you don't even respect God. You don't even respect the words of God. Mm. Amen. As a giving church, we give with open palm, with eyes averted, and with our heads facing toward our feet. When we give, we do not compete. We do not go count the cost. Amen po? Sabi niya ng Act 20.35, Sabi ng Lord Jesus, it is more blessed to give than to receive. So point number two po is receiving. Yeah. Receiving is God respond to our giving by opening opportunity to receive divine provision both directly and indirectly from His hands. Yeah. Lahat ng ginagawa natin para kay Lord, He always responding. He would never turn blind, blind eyes on us. God moved by our faithfulness. We receive the divine provision directly from the hands of God. But we all know na God provides us with the ability to have peace. Diba? Hindi mo ka makukuha sa taong yung peace. Diba? You can't be provided with peace in any situation. He will guard our heart and mind. He will give us wisdom and knowledge and lead us into the path of righteousness and he give us confidence when we are uncertain and satisfy our longing souls so we also receive the divine provision indirectly from god's hand we all know that through other people diba? i remember before na, i was really in need na, i don't think what i have is enough but god is so good he will send people na will provide yung mga kailangan ko. Kaya what we need as a family. So blessing po in giving. There is three. There are three po. Blessing in giving. A is bless according to how we give. So Second Corinthians 9, 6, 11 say, whoever, whoever sows generously will also reap generously. When he bless us, we can extend the blessing to others for God's glory. Kaya binibigyan ni Lord sa atin sobra-sobra 
para we can share with other people in need. And Luke 6, 38 say, with the measure we use, it will measure to us. And Malachi 3, 8, 12, we all know it's about tithing. So when we tithe, Malachi 3, 10, we know the words that God will throw open the windows of heaven, the overflow blessing and protection. And we all know that as a church, our tithes um, and offering is recorded in black and white po. Na nanon po i walang walang nakatago po. Um, I can testify to that everything's in there in writing, in black and white. And our tithes and for offering is to be used for the expansion of kingdom of God, for use in our mission when we reach out more places in Sasari, di ba po? So um because that's the very important mission as a church. We are not um, just satisfied with the goodness of God. Right? We want to share to others. We want to bring us, bring others to God. So a blessing in giving pot is be supplied with all our needs here and now. And he will meet all our needs according to his gl glorious riches in Christ Jesus. And sabi ng Proverbs 11.24, hindi na po tayo mapupulang, mapupulang. And assure of great reward in heaven. In heaven. So hindi lang po, na provide ni Lord the, all of the things that we need in this world. It is also an assurance of great rewards in heaven. Now our treasure, Matthew 6.19.21, says our treasure is safe. No one will, it cannot be destroyed or steal. And Luke 16, 9 to 12, it is to be a faithful steward. And whoever God trusted to us, we have to be faithful. And 1 Timothy 6, 17, 19, it talk about worldly wealth is temporary. And yet we put our hope in God, who richly provide us with everything. So Proverbs 10, 22, the blessing of the Lord bring true riches. And he added no sorrow to it, for it is come as blessing from God. And Matthew 7, 8, for everyone who asks receive, the one who seeks find, and the one who knocks, the door will open. In receiving for also there is a warning. So, God knows our need. He knows what we can handle. As a human being alone, we always, Paola po tayo, we always want more and more. The warning dito po in receiving, never be jealous for what other people have. When we do that, but we don't appreciate what we have. Diba? Then we can turn our happy moment to be sad moment because of that jealousy. And the downfall downfall of men that men wants instantly blessing you know? and then sometimes we are too focused on the blessing instead of our blesser so that is wrong so kaya po, we have to be warning that we don't focus to our resources we have fo we have to focus to our source which is our god amen, amen po amen. and roman 8 32 he will not he, will, he who did not spare his own son, but gave his, him up for us all, how will he not also, along with him, grace will give all our all things? So, ibig sabihin na, do not worry. God will provide. Kung inaunahan natin, Lord, sa lahat bagay, especially in our giving. So, um, nas, nasabi ko nga, na-explain ko pa yung aba, giving and receiving. So the root of giving is love. We all know, di ba? We know that the greatest gift for us of all is John 3, 16. And no one can compare for God gave even without expecting anything in return. Because his gift is, is rooted in love. Last week, Ati Ali said that on her conclusion, the ultimate goal as a follower of Jesus 
to spiritually grow and mature in faith, to please Him and to be approved by Him. As we spiritually grow and mature in our faith, we understand the law of giving and receiving. We read, we meditate the Word of God, we understand, and God proved us many times. We always hear the testimony here and there. We should have faith. You know, we should have faith to what we read, what, to, what the Word of God, what we understand in that. Um, we shouldn't be a question anymore to ask for, because faith doesn't demand details and explanation. We should level up the Lord. The greatest blessings is reverent fear of God. We know the greatest gift is the Lord Jesus. When God gave His Son to us, to die for us. But the greatest blessing is reverent fear of God. The only way for to achieve is to be rooted in the Word of God. Bible is our bedrock of our faith. When we are rooted in His Word, po, kahit maraming bagyo sa buhay natin, hindi po tayo magsway. No? We will stand firm in confidence against the storm of life. When we understand the Word of God, po, we have those, um, um, the fear of God. Balik natin din. So the, the reverent fear of God, the fact that, um, so when we have the reverent fear of God, kaya natin magbigay. Kaya natin magbigay um, na big confidence that we know our God will provide. So kaya, kaya po, if we have fear of God, everything will fall to places. Because the fear of God is transforming us from glory to glory. And fear of the Lord Proverbs 9, 10, fear of the Lord is the foundation of wisdom. Knowledge of the Holy One result in the good judgment. So we know now, we sabi na, we know what to do what is right, what is wrong. In giving po and receiving, it's not so much, it's not about how much we give, how much we're receiving. In connection with our monthly topic po, arise and real. A Bible rooted community. Giving and receiving is about how we obey the word of God, how we obey the commands of God. Because the blessings come from obedience. Sabi ng Dr. Lillian Garcia, God will stand with us when we stand loyal to Him. Amen. Sa conclusion na po ako. So, wait, so how, how do we view God in our life po? Sa lahat ng binibigay niya. Is He the God of our life? Is He the Lord of our life? Do we trust Him in His work? Do we view Him as our resources or our source? Sino pa siya sa buhay natin? Sabi ng Charles Spurgeon, the way you view God's, the, the way you view God will eventually show up in the way you live your life. No? It's showing up, it show in our lifestyle. Katulad ni Abraham, we know, di ba, yung lifestyle niya, he will obey God, regardless. So I let you po, um, meditate in those words from Charles Spurgeon. No. I let you meditate na, you know, the um, I mean, lifestyle natin. Is it showing that? Is it is our last lifestyle showing that he is God? He is the greater God. He is the good, good God. Is he the God who provide everything? Do it po makita sa lifestyle natin. Then po. And we all know. He is a life giver. So may I ask everyone to stand up for this afternoon?
this afternoon po, did you ever think even just for once po, come to your mind na how can I repay you Lord for this? How can I repay you for this life Lord? You give us a chance to know you to have relationship with you. You know when we give, when we offer things to God, we honor him. We always receive in many forms. When, when we give God one, He never returns with one. At least, He will return us in double or more. That's our God. He is a giver. So regardless whatever it is we give or we are offered to our God, we will always be receiving from Him. That's His nature. When we give our times to Him, we read the Word, meditate the Word, in return, we receive revelation, knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. When we bring our ties to the house of God, we receive all kind of blessings. There is nothing that we can give to God before we stay. Our God is a rewarder. Even for in our trial, when we surrender to God, sinasamahan niya po tayo.
deliver and change our life. Lord, thank you, O Lord. Sa walang sama, you're reminding us to always be faithful to you. Thank you for reminding us that everything we have in this earth is temporary, O Lord. That what we have in you is eternal, Lord. Help us, O Lord, to seek you more and more in our life.
Amen. Ang sarap pakinggan mo yung receiving. Pag receive. Amen. It's nice to hear, no, the word receiving. Amen. All of us wants to receive. Sino yung kaya mag-receive? All of us. But you know, the Bible says, even, hindi pa, hindi, even we are not yet asking God. Sabi po niya, no? He, he, he prepared it to talk to us. Hindi pa daw po natin hinihingi. Hindi ready na ng Lord. Ganun siya. Hindi siya madamot na Diyos. Sabi nga po, eh, di ba? Bago pa po tayo manalangin, before we ask Him in prayer, He answered us. So God is the God of giving. He is. Tayo lang talaga yung mag-receive. We are only the recipient. Because Jesus is everything. Palapakan po mo na natin ang Lord. Kaya po ang ganda, no, na tinuro ni Sister Nia, that the greatest blessing is the reverent fear of God. If you understand the fear of God, hindi ka nasasabihan, magbigay ka. Wala na gano'n. Hindi ka nasasabihan palagi. And you will not offend it, get offended in times of giving. <laughs> Minsan kasi ito yung pangal tayo na allergy tayo. <laughs> Hindi ka na ma-offend. You will not get offended, church. Actually, this is the most exciting. Amen. This is the most exciting because you have received already the blessings of God. Tatanggap mo na yung preaching. That's the blessing. Amen? But we are now in a Bible rooted. Susubukan natin that the word of God will be tested. Amen? Sabi po dito, ikaw magpipreach. <laughs> Psalms 37, tatagalugin ko na lang kasi majority tagalog eh. Ang ganda po. And then we will pray. Sabi po sa Psalms 37 verse 18 to 19, it is 13, ha? Then you can. 37 yan. Nalalaman. Pag iba sa akin, ako na lang nung, pero sige pakiproject mo na. Sabi po dito sa translation ko, ASNB, Araw-araw, inaalagaan ng Panginoon ang mga taong matuwid at tatanggap sila ng gantimpalang pangwalang hanggan sa panahon ng kahirapan. Hindi sila malalagay sa kahihiyan. Kahit na nagutong, magkakaroon pa rin sila ng kasaganaan. Ako'y naging bata at ngayon'y matanda na, ngunit hindi ko pa nakita kailanman na ang matuwid ay pinabayaan ng Panginoon o ang kanyang mga, mga anak ay namalimos ng pagkain. Ang matuwid ay palaging nagbibigay at nagpapahiram at ang kanilang mga anak ay nagiging pagpapala sa iba. There is full of promises on this verse of Psalms 37 verse 18 to 19. Before I pray, sandaling sandaling lang po, one, 30 seconds, God reminded me when I was there sitting, uh, 29 years ago, ako po, may tindahan po kami sa terminal. Meron po kaming karinderiya maliit. Hanggang ngayon, buhay pa siya. The, the, the oldest karinderiya in um, Dolores Eastern Summer is still standing. Nandun pa rin po yun, yung karinderiya namin. Buhay pa siya. Marami nang nagsara, but our karinderiya is still open. 29 years ago, ago ako po yung nagpapakain. Nagagalit ang nanay ko pag nagpapakain ako ng mga pulubi. Yung mga, alam mong gutong. Di ba may natitirang mga luga, mga pagkain. Ipapakain ko po yun. Pauupuin ko sila sa upuan. Marunumi sila. Pauupuin ko lang sila. Tama po si David. Siya ay tumanda at hindi niya nakita na malimos o nagkulang ang mga mapagbigay. A generous heart. You don't know yung mga anak natin, 30 years from now. Give. This is the time to give. Amen? Invest in giving. I am nearly 50 na po. Obvious bang namalimus ako. <laughs> ah, kayo po ang nagbibigay palagi. Amen? Natatawa si Sister Rachel. We are giver. Let us pray. Father, indeed, thank you. What a great reminder that we are just a recipient of what whom you
you've given to us your very own life, O oh God. Your life that is so precious, given, given to us. That's why we are receiving all these blessings. Indeed, Lord God, who can, how can we repay? How can we outgive you? Wala na, wala po, wala po kaming may pagmamuna. Tuluan mo namang po kaming magbigay, O oh Diyos, na hindi namin bibilangin ang aming mga ibinibigay. Lord, I pray, yun po mga hindi pa nagbibigay, but you are putting them, dinalagyan mo sila ngayon ang desire na magbigay. Show to them, prove to them, na walang nagbigay sa iyo, O oh Diyos, na nawalan ng kabulungan. Patunayan mo ang iyong salita, Ama. Marami pong salamat. Bless those hands, O oh God. And the partners of this precious ministry, continually bless them beyond and above. Hindi lamang po sa panahon na ito, Lord God, but our generation, Lord God, your promise, magiging pagpapala ang ating mga henerasyon na darating. Marami pong salamat. We give you back the glory honor and praises. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Wants to join. 